Hey guys and welcome to Dark Cycle 22 plays um, Telltale's The Walking Dead. Uh, what is it? Season one. So now I'm on episode two since we just freaking cleared the hotel. So yeah, I'm just looking at it, I remember seeing the preview from the previous one. It's like oh, previously on The Walking Dead. Ooh, I know who you are. So what's out this other time? You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Wow, I'm an expert now, dude. And I still have my fire axe. You rarely see fire axes now, and nobody puts fire axes in the. Ooh. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Oh man, we're starving. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Uh, not enough. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. <laughs> you think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Whatever. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Yeah, fuck that dude. Seems dude. like he's got a problem with That's why he wants to leave. I want to leave too. <laughs> fuck this crew. <laughs> oh, let's see. He's an old racist asshole. He's just an old racist asshole. <laughs> That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. If our problems are not, we should all be out here trying to find food. Uh, I'm going to make Lily him die, man. Weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah, fuck that dude. Uh, he's gonna die. I don't care. Don't no forgiveness. No forgiveness, dude. You're gonna shoot the the bird? Hopefully that's a twenty-two, man. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Oh, good shit, dude. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Ah! <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get we all off. got sniper get rifles and shit. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out camp? here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know. Guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Yeah, we'll, we'll try. I might gotta as well. get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you got to hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Now they owe us. That's why. You guys got any food? Like, There's no release left. Oh shit. Oh no. <clears throat> Gotta axe him, dude. Shit. Gotta axe him. It's now or never leave. Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Let's see here. Please hurry! That's not gonna work. Please! Stop. Get me out of this! It's not you gonna work. To it's out. a steel you chain. And that's what they use on is bear he, traps. Is he gonna make it? It's not gonna work. Hurry! Uh, uh, there like there has to be a way out of this. this. You're not cutting through them. Fuck. Oh, this. Come on. How the fuck do you get these things open? We don't know. Uh, let's go. Let's it's go. Impossible. It locks or something. Hurry! Why is fuck this it. happening to us? There's only one choice, dude. Try the trap again! Anything, please! No, 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 no. Oh, I got you. Dude. Just cut the ah, yeah, yeah, there you go. Don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go now. I got you, dude. Going ah. through the Tib Amphibia is not a good idea, man. Should have went through the I'm kneecap. Just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Oh God, there's so many of them. And you should put the belt on Look the skin, up. not on the thing. Is he? He passed out. Yeah, it's fine. He's still bleeding a lot. See, it's not effective. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Come on. Come on, kids. Oh fuck yeah! Fireman carry and shit. Behind you, Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move. Well, Travis is dead. Yep. That's it. Just leave him. How the hell did he get into his... Was that a fucking intestine? <laughs> he already got through his stomach, dude? What the... <laughs> was that his intestine? Oh my god. Look at this old fuck. I don't like him at all, dude. Oh, he's playing! Like, it reminds me of Final Fantasy VII. Costa de Sol right here. The original one. And you, you kick it at, uh... And you kick it at Red 13. He has no hat. Oh, it's a 22. It looks like a goddamn like. Oh, it's a bold action 22 also. Get the oh. gates open. We've got wounded. Shit. What the hell are they doing? Come on. Come oh on. My God. What happened? Oh, what's going on? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see Aww. what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What's no, your mouth? I don't. 
I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You fucking you left the other one bitch. behind. Other one? Jesus, Lee. What if there are more of them? What if they followed you here? There wasn't anybody else, just us. How do you know he's not lying? We well, could use him on. as a fucking. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Bait. Maybe they can <laughs> like, be helpful. Come on, Lily. You know? These are people. People trying to survive. And they look just like, like kids us. from a sophomore. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Oh. Uh -huh. No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Yeah, fuck you and oh, your guy. Come on, you're being <laughs> dramatic. Everything Carly, always please. turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Yeah. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Carly's Everyone independent. Was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to Kenny's go around. Kenny's right. But dude. now that it's running out, fuck you and your dad. Goddamn Nazi. <laughs> Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Oh, he's my best friend. All right. Once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. It's all right. He wants to leave anyway. Have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. We're going Dad, outside the zone. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yeah, fuck you and your dad. <laughs> I already lost favor for both of you. You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. Hell yeah. We're leaving. <laughs> oh, you're trying to fix this thing? Oh, look, oh yeah. We have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Lynn. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. It's an easy choice, dude. You feed the adults to help the kids. I I wouldn't eat my own stuff, but you you help the people who are doing the most. You feed the you know. It's easy. You help the people are doing the most. So if Kenny wants to fucking have food, he can have it. Who me? That guy with the like the thing. It's Kenny's choice if he wants to give his family that little bit of food left or not. That's how easy it is. Not just helping this person out, see? So the first thing's first, give it to Kenny. Oh. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Oh. Can you help me find it? <laughs> she lost her hat. <laughs> yeah, I got it. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Claire. Uh, I gotta take care of some things. She cares for me. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. This is nice. Ah, uh, fucking here, Kenny. You can have this, man. You give it to your 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 daughter or son, but it's your choice. It's not, you know, like that. It's up to you, Want man. Something to eat? Here, you can have the fucking crackers and cheese. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Not yet. Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Good shit. All right, that's all I gotta say. Your this was your share, and you want your boy to have it. Good shit. Here, that's all. That's all that was needed, man. Hey, Doc, how about a little food? There, you can have your crackers and cheese, then. Here. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. All right. Who else? <clears throat> Oh, it's like, where's that guy at? He oh, deserves a piece of food. Where's that guy? What you call it was on watch. So, that too. Here. She, she deserves some food too, Lily. Right now, I need to find what's his face. I don't see him, though. 
At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Newcomers don't deserve to eat, dude. Dude, she's doing some work. She's trying to save somebody. She should also deserve a, a share. Oh, here he is. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Yeah, he's not he's not being helpful. Here, I got you, bro. You were running. Need something. He even carried a thing here. You can get some crackers and cheese. It seems like the best one. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, go ahead, dude. Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Go ahead. Go ahead. Fucking Larry here. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. He ain't doing you didn't shit. think to give me the axe? Well, fuck Come you. on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh. And that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Look. I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. No, you just fucked up. Nah, I'm not giving your daughter shit no more, dude. You ruin it for everybody. I made a big mistake. I made a big mistake. What do I have? Jerky and an apple? I'm not going to eat shit. Here, Clem, you can have an apple. You don't want no jerky. You need some vitamins. <laughs> you need don't need this salt intake. Here, Clem. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I know there's a pecking order, but here, have an apple. It's healthy. I love apples. Oh. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, you oh. no honey. Um. Enjoy it. You deserve it. Oh, she even cared about the other people. I'll give it to the fucking. Yeah, save it for the last piece for someone. Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. She'd probably give her the food, but it's either her or the Katja. Sorry, Katja, you're just gonna have to wait since you're just helping them now. I know. Here, you need it because you're on fucking watch. Here. I don't want anything from you. Oh, fuck you then. That's too easy. Fine. You want to be petty. That's all I needed. You fucking made a mistake. <laughs> That's all I got. That's all I got here. She didn't want it. Here, eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is oh, he okay. going to be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I gave it to what Doctor. Do Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I got it, dude. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. It's true, the I right did the right thing. thing. Don't blame it on thing. I guess. It's my choice. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. You should... <laughs> Go ahead wonder and why check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. It's more you should wonder why there's a non-removable bear trap instead of thing here. So she didn't want to give it to her dad then. Here, you're your daughter. Now if you want to be fucking asshole, then I'm not going to give you shit. <laughs> but so it just takes one thing. Here, Larry. Here. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. I should shove this up your ass, but I'm too hungry. Yeah. That was your. It's the reason why it's fucking. She said no, so I give it to her dad. It was her share. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. Oh, we're... I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. 
I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. All right. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Ooh, the other new guys? Get out of here. Who would be Dad, angry at please. my choices? Come here, please. He didn't Fuck make the it. new guys. He lost too much blood. Oh, that's God too bad. damn it! I'm we got some meat. This shit. We got some meat, Ken, man. Come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Katja. But it's too late. Just needs time. It's been a rough morning. We're we're hangry. The man, you brought. I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Yeah, the kids what didn't do a good job. <laughs> shit! <laughs> Fuck. Oh, we're gonna go left and right with this motherfucker. Move, move. Oh shit. <laughs> left stick? I don't have a stick! What the fuck? I don't have a stick! <laughs> I'm using a fucking keyboard and mouse. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me change that. Let's turn that off, dude. Oh, no, no, no. Let's turn that off. What is it? Control? Gameplay? Uh, it is off, man. It's just not fucking working. Do I turn it on? <laughs> That's stupid. They never changed it. Shit, it's stuck. So it's made it's meant for a fucking uh, uh, controller. They didn't tell me to use uh Damn. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I, I guess so. I don't know, I, all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But oh. one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Ooh, she's Whoa, on point. Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could hey. part with some extra gas before we leave. No. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. No. How are y'all doing on food? Oh, we fuck. got plenty at the dairy. There's no choice. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. 
I got your back if anything seems fishy. All right, yeah, because she has the so, gun. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Let's do it. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, mm. we got plenty of food. Good shit. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. <laughs> because of your past. Does anyone else know? Just you. Well, I oh, and, and Clementine. Clementine knows. Yeah. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly <laughs> did happen with the senator? You know what happened. You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before Just, things yeah. went to hell doesn't <coughs> we matter should. anymore. We'll see if Kenny I'm sticks sure with me or not. Would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? <laughs> I'm a fucking... Motor. <laughs> I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? Everyone. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? That's a... Uh... Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... Getting... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Oh. Shh, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. Real. And you guys were keeping it there's all for yourself. Two. Oh, no. There's yeah, you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you! Good <laughs> shit. Jesus! Asshole! Let's go take that thing's weapon. Here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. All right, so he's not. We should get that gun. Uh, the fucking Daryl Crawl. Oh, never mind. That's perfectly good resources. You're gonna leave there. Big mistake, dude. So they did have a farm. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 bolts through that What thing. if there's a horde, Generators though? Naps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. It's just three wires. It's not... Uh-oh. Have there been any accident? Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This uh, place for now. looks untouched. You never the know the rest of the world close. is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming oh. down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. 
Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Kenny's working on getting us somewhere safer. He doesn't think the motor end will stay safe forever. Sounds like a smart man. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, I, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Biscuits. Dude. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Uh-oh. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh, my. Our prayers have been answered. Yeah, Maybe this milk is not gonna... For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? This seems like a trap, though. I don't why know don't how I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Oh, take shit. this. There we go. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take what about my gun? Lead. What about a pistol? A while. You have a rifle and a pistol now, dude. You can do a wielding? Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. <laughs> you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. It's already Betcha. looking sketch. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? It's too... Let's make sure it's safe. I don't know. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Yeah. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a yeah, good it looks look like at the It's anti-zombie, right. but I'll keep my eyes open and you find out what you can for. It that. doesn't look like anti-human, like you know, like you know, you could just break this post down. You could just kick the kick the post, you know, like destroy it or run it over. Let's look at the swing. Anywhere else? Anything else? Looks hella sketch, man. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I try to fix Mind it? Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. <laughs> I already know. Just needs a new boy Once one the of them dies, they're gonna be an asshole. Safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. My bad, I fucking... need some rope. And there's got to be a board around okay. here I can use board as a seat. Up. Okay, that's all. Got my axe. So that's my weapon, okay. Let's talk to him. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. All right. Yeah, like a picket fence, that's not gonna stop nobody. Hmm, Boy. That's not gonna stop anybody. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Oh, I see the saw. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. You guys are too trustworthy, huh? No, oh, it's the same thing from the, the the same animation from the farm. Some nails in it, or screws. I mean, 
Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. You know, like people could just go under it and stuff like that. Let me use this gate. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Well, trying to help out. Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Now you're trying you what? to. We'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds All right. good. All right, sound pretty. So, doesn't want me to. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty fucking scared. <laughs> they have walkers in the barn. I already know. Storing gasoline all over the property. Ah, this sounds pretty fucking sketch, dude. They got something in the barn. Where the fuck is this rope? The board is good, but I need some rope. I guess I won't repair it, dude. Can I go in the house? Yeah, can I go in the house? Okay, so I can't go to the barn. Ninety-three. This rope is perfect for the swing. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. I don't trust you guys. At all, dude. I hope we can say I'm a friend. Listen, you creep. It's not your money we want. It's your ass. I'm sorry to hear that. You know, I like uh, my song is uh, old school, old school style. Only God can can make me win. Like, comment, and subscribe, or I'll break your fucking legs.